Hello and welcome to a Liverpool video. I will get as far through this video as I can. I haven't been able to make videos or anything like that about the City game before it, after it and before Wolves. As you can tell, my voice is its struggling. I was actually without my voice for two days, um, yesterday and the day before. It's, been, it's a struggle. Um, I've never lost my voice before, so I'm very wary of losing it again. So I'll get as far through this as I can and include as much info as I can before I have to stop talking, basically. Um, the City game was disappointing, but the, the team that played better, they deserved to win. They played better than we did. It was only a 2-1 loss. It's our first loss in the Premier League. But it was disappointing, and I think it actually pointed to um, a midfield battle that we couldn't win for some reason, and I think that reason is Fabinho. When Fabinho came on the pitch, I felt that we had more control. Not, you know, we weren't, you know, we weren't taking the control away from Man City, but we had a bit more control, and we also had a bit more going forward as well. You seem to feel that, like, Henderson, Milner were a little bit, I don't want to say afraid, but I can't think of a better word, and they looked a little bit afraid to move that ball forward. They were, you know, City did really well at closing us down in the midfield and using their uh, Fernandinho dropping back into defence when they wanted to play out with their centre backs and also make it a five back as well, as well as their midfield. So they did really well at shutting us down. Firmino scored a good goal, but they, scored, you know, and you can say about offsides and stuff like that for Sterling. Obviously, Lovren is coming in for um, a lot of criticism. It's justified criticism, but people are apparently sending him death threats again and stuff like that, and that's just not on. He's a Liverpool player. He's done well, and it's just it's a high pressure game that he's made. That you know he's not played the best in. There's no need to send anybody threats of any kind, whether it's death threats or you want to beat someone up physically, whatever. There is no need for that. I don't care. You know, I I don't, I personally I'm not the biggest fan of Lovren. But the last thing I would ever think of doing is sending that man death threats. I, I fully believe he tries his hardest when when he's on the pitch. And it just so happens he's not as good as Joe Gomez. He's not as good as Virgil van Dijk. He's been doing a good job. But that's it. We've suffered our first loss of the season. We're still four points clear at the top of the table. And we turn our attention to the FA Cup. So I'm very much like... You know, after the Man City game, disappointing. The next day, I'm over it. And I've said this a few times. Whenever we when we lost the Real Madrid in the Champions League final, there's still a couple of my friends who are still hung up on the Real Madrid final. I was over it the next day. It's a new day. That's done. It's in the past. Got to move on. That is exactly how it is, and that's how I am. You have to move on. Move on from the Man City game. You take the positives, you take the negatives, and you work it into the next game. Just so happens that the next game is against Wolves, I believe. I think it's Sunday. I'm recording this on Saturday um, as best as I can. Sorry about the quality of this, but yeah. Um, we've played Wolves in the league, and I imagine it's going to be a little bit of a different game. I think Wolves are going to want this game more than we will. And that will sound strange, because... We are obviously we're well in the running for the Premier League. We're still in the Champions League as well. And people will be looking at this game as like Liverpool need to win a trophy. They need to guarantee a trophy at the end of the season. And the FA Cup could be the way to do it. I am of the un unpopular opinion of I would rather we got knocked out of every cup competition and then went and won the Premier League or gave it the best chance that we had. That is that is my honest opinion. And I don't care. I don't care what other people think. I would obviously love us to go to a Champions League final again. I'd, it'd be cool to win the FA Cup. It really would. It'd be a, it's a good trophy to win. But we are in the best position in a long time in terms of the team, in terms of performances in the Premier League. We are doing the best that we can and the best that I've seen us do in a long, long time. We are in pole position in the Premier League right now. We've got some good fixtures coming up as well in the Premier League. I would rather us go full bore into the Premier League and make the biggest run that we can over winning the FA Cup. I really do. 
you know, the FA Cup is a good trophy, but I think it's more a priority for teams that are fifth and below in our league. That's just my opinion on it, and I know that a lot of people will disagree with that. But I don't. It's I look at I, I don't look at the FA Cup like yes, can't wait for the FA Cup. I look at the FA Cup like you're disturbing my Premier League, you're disturbing our Premier League fixtures. That is how I look at it. I re I really do, and I know we we've got no divine right to go and win the Premier League or anything like that. But we put ourselves in the best position possible so far. And I think that that's what our priority should be. And I imagine our team selection will probably show that. Now, I've been a bit surprised recently about... Not necessarily surprised about Dominic Solanke leaving, but I was surprised they actually sold him. Um, I thought that they would let him um, maybe go on loan or something like that and then bring him back. They've, had, they've fully sold him, £19 million, which is a ridiculous fee, considering I think we bought him for three. Um, and he scored one senior goal. I like the lad. He just was in a he was in a team a little bit similar to Chelsea where he was going to struggle to get game time and time to improve and then I was again shocked. I'm glad it's alone, but I was again shocked that Nathaniel Klein has been let go to Bournemouth as well, following Dominic Solanke over there. Um, I, I am surprised because I felt that it's going to leave a shot at right back. Now I know that there's this um, this young lad called Hover. A uh, Dutch right back who's like 16, 17, something like that, that could get a chance, but it leaves us with the one recognised uh, right back in Trent Alexander Arnold. Joe Gomez isn't back yet, and it, I just don't want it to backfire on us. I felt that Klein put in a very good performance against United. I thought we were going to see more of him. I really did. But we go into the Wolves game, and I think that we could see some changes. I imagine, I don't know if we'll go like, you know, wholesale changes because it's the FA Cup. <laughs> And what I mean by that, do we start with Mignolet and goal? I don't know. I'm going to play devil's advocate and say that we're going to do wholesale changes where we can. And whether that means we get some academy guys coming up from centre-back, I don't know. I could see it, though. Totally could see it. Um, I don't know if you'll see Van Dijk playing. Maybe he'll get a rest. I, again, I don't know. It's, it's going to be one or the other. We're going to go for this with a few changes, or we're going to go into this game with a lot of changes, and it's really difficult to predict what is going to happen. I think left back, we'll probably see Alberto Moreno um, come into that, come into the left back position. Centre back, Lovren, and then maybe a youth player at centre back. And I, honest to God, can't remember anyone's name. I think like Masterson is one, but I don't know if we still have him. Um, right back, you could see Hover come in, but. It, it would then also then hit like border on a bit. Are we just going to play a youth team? You know, and it's like, do you do we end up disrespecting Wolves in that respect as well? I could be completely wrong, I and mean, we could go for Van Dyke, Lover, and everybody like that. But I'm just trying to think of things off the top of my head. Uh, midfield, I think we could see some changes. I think you might even see like Adam Lallana, Naby Keita. Um, maybe Shakiri in that midfield, and I wouldn't be too opposed to that, to be honest. I want to see uh, Naby Keita get more game time. Um, I think he needs more game time. A lot of people are starting to doubt the signing of Naby Keita. I think he's just taking a bit longer to settle in than, say, Fabinho has. I think that Naby Keita, obviously not done well with the injury. That's not, you know, he's had a, he had quite a long, a, length, a lengthy injury near the start of the season. Um, and I think he's just taken a little bit longer to bed into the system, but I think he will bring us good stuff in the future. And I think maybe having somebody like, maybe not having Lalana in there. And if you, if we're gonna play, the way I think he could go with it is he'll go Naby Keita, maybe someone either Wijnaldum, Henderson, or Milner, and then have Shakiri in there as well. And then going forward, and going forward, we could start to see like Divock Origi, Daniel Sturridge. Um, maybe one of Mane or Salah, or maybe someone else as well. And I think that's the kind of lineup that we're going to go with. I think that's that is something that is going to happen. I think we're going to have a bit of a changed lineup for the FA Cup, and then after that, I think I can't. I think if we got Brighton or, or someone in the league, so we can afford to make these changes now and rotate a little bit more while we can. And obviously, Champions League is not back till February, so we've just got to take advantage of what we can do now with the squad. Rotate it. His rotation's done really well. You know, we won all eight games in December and we just slipped up against Man City. Okay? 
But I think the Wolves game could be a bit of a challenge. I think Wolves are going to come into this game. They've done well in the league. They've you know made a good impact on the Premier League this season. Their first season back up and they've done really well. And I think Wolves are going to come at this game hard. I think they are going to want to win it. I think they are going to be one of those teams that can and wants to go far in this, in this competition. Um, I think they've got quality players. They showed that when, they, when we played them. We beat them 2-0. Yes, we did. But they had a lack of finishing on that day. And I think if we make wholesale changes with like Menule and different back line, I think that could see Wolves have a bit of a better chance at us in the FA Cup. And I'm not entirely bothered about whether we actually... I don't... About whether we go through further in this competition. I don't... I'm not actually bothered. I'm really not. If we end up losing, pff, no skin off my nose. If we go through, again, no skin off my nose. I'm not going to be ecstatic or sad either way that's just my thoughts on it and I know people will disagree with that um, how do I see this game going down I think that Liverpool can win it but I also think that Wolves can win it I really do I think Wolves are going to come out of this one come at this one harder than we will and I actually think that if anything it could be a draw I think it could be a score draw and then I don't know how it works around that I don't know how it works if it goes to a draw in the FA Cup now does it go straight to penalties does it go um, to extra time or does it go to a second leg I honestly don't know how it works but I see the game finishing as a draw and whatever happens after that if it's penalties could be Liverpool could be Wolves I can't really call it either way I'm going to go with Liverpool though and say that if it does go to pens then I think that we can win it on pens but again I'm not entirely bothered I'm just more concerned about us in the league to be honest with you so if you've made it through this video so far thanks so much I'm going to stop the video in a couple of seconds, like about you know half a minute or something, because I can't actually continue talking any longer. But thank you so much for the uh, for watching and continuing to watch these videos this season. I will, if we if I can, I will try and do a reaction video. But I'm saving my voice as much as possible. This is the most I've spoken in about four days, um, and I just really wanted to get something out for it anyway. But thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you once again. <coughs> And I will catch you later.